probably have a drawer full of them, but why should you care about a t-shirt? Well, there are a lot of reasons. First, what's it made of? Check your tag. If it says cotton, then your shirt started its journey as a little cotton plant. Now, the average cotton farm is 1,300 acres. That's like a thousand football fields. That's a lot of land that would otherwise be homes to all sorts of animals. And cotton uses a ton of pesticides, more than any other crop, unless it's organic. And water. Like, so much water. Like, 2,700 liters per t-shirt. That's like 1,350 bottles of soda. 713 gallons of milk. 30 bathtubs. After the cotton is picked and cleaned, it is spun into yarn. Then that yarn goes somewhere else, often another country, to be turned into fabric. Next, the fabric is bleached. Now, unless you were only white, then at some point your shirt was dyed. This requires another bleaching. Oops, more water. <laughs> exactly. And then into the dye. The dye that doesn't stick to your t-shirt gets thrown away and can end up polluting our water. Wait, does that mean they're purple fish? <laughs> no, but it's not great for them either. Then off to the factory to be cut and sewn. Your tag tells you where that happened. That's what this means. Your shirt has been all over the world. In fact, the average t-shirt travels 16,500 miles before it's sold in a store. Any kind of transportation releases carbon dioxide, which contributes to climate change. Then your shirt goes on another trip to get to the store and into your closet. You put it on, you rock it, you take some selfies, and then you throw it in the wash. Stat! The average American family does 400 loads of laundry per year. That's 12,000 gallons of water. When your clothes get washed, they release little fibers into the water. You know belly button lint? Ew, yeah. That's what I'm talking Ugh. about. These fibers get into the ocean where they can cause a lot of problems. Then into the dryer. More belly button lint? Exactly, which uses six times more energy than washers. What happens when your shirt doesn't fit anymore, or it's falling apart, or it's just not cool? Well, a lot of times people throw them away. Actually, the average American throws away 70 pounds of clothes per year. That's more than 200 men's t-shirts. They end up in the landfill or shipped to another country for them to deal with. Well, that's a lot of reasons to care, but what can you do? Buy secondhand or trade clothes with your friends. Try to buy clothes made from recycled or organic material. Wash your clothes less, unless they're smelly or you got something on them, then please wash away. But jeans rarely need to be washed. In fact, you can put them in the sun or the freezer to get rid of those funny smells. Instead of the dryer, hang your clothes up to dry. Don't toss your old clothes, keep them and fix them or repurpose them into something even cooler. Well, that's it for now. Do you have an idea for a Why Should I Care episode? Let us know below. Thanks for caring.